So the Indian health expenditure, which was about 1.2 of GDP and was budgeted to be 2.1 of GDP in 2023, is lower than 2.5 recorded recommended by the National Health Policy 2017. And the 15 Finance Commission sir recommended 2.5 GDP by 2025. However, even this recommendation is consistently lower than China 3% and, and other countries, so Korea 5%. So the PMA BHIM scheme saw 22% reduction in allocation compared to BE of 23-24. Only 47% of the funds allocated in 20, 20, 20, 23 24 utilized as per the revised estimates. So the NHM budget has been declining when adjusted for inflation. This has resulted in a situation where most PHCs and CHEs do not have adequate infrastructure or do not have basic human resources like doctors and nurses. For example, sir, in Simanchal, four districts have a population of 1 crore, Katiar has only 57 PHCs, Araria 39, Kishangan 16, and Purnia 51. One PHC is supposed to serve 30,000 people in Simanchal. Third point, sir, majority of Indians are forced to go to private hospitals, the majority of healthcare expenses are out of pocket, and this is the main cause of poverty and debt, sir. Sir, in Ayushman Bharat, 30,170 hospitals have been empaneled, out of which 56% of public hospitals. Shouldn't these hospitals already provide free health care? Standing Committee on Health also observed the hospitals were sparsely distributed across the country. CAG 2023 noted deficiency in quality of infrastructure at several empaneled health care providers. Sir, so CAG also reported multiple cases of fraud where dead people were given treatment under Ayushman Bharat, sir. Sir, as of August 23, 39% teaching, 49% non-teaching positions across AIMS are vacant. Teaching vacancies are higher in campus such as Madurai 77%, Jammu 61%, Rajkot 61% and Ames and Bibinagar in Hyderabad has 45% uh, staff, sir, the, uh, uh, vacancies, sir. Sir, the Prime Minister taunted Muslims and spread false, false news that we have more children. But this own ministry had said yes, sir, that sir. the TFR for the country is falling comes, sir, and the TFR of Muslims has fallen the fastest. The, and may I quote uh, and bring the notes of August House that the TFR rate of Muslims have fallen down from 4.41 to 2.36. The Muslim men use highest contraception than the Hindu people of 34.10 percent. Kashmir and, and Lakshadweep, some of the have the lowest fertility rate. Muslim women. This is, madam, you are the minister, you should know, National Family Health Survey 2019. Obasi sahab, you are very senior. Only you address to the chair. Thank you, sir. Madam, you are the minister. Muslim women are now using contraception nearly as much as Hindu women. That is 60.2 percent. The truth, sir, is NFHS data says that Muslims have lowest access to health care facilities due to poverty. Despite this, Muslims have better sanitation, they practice family planning, and because of this, Muslim children have lower infant mortality rates than Hindus. Unfortunately, NFHS data shows that neither in life nor in death discrimination stops. If a forward caste non-Muslim is up to 50, an OBC Muslim only lives till 43. Adivasis die four years sooner than the upper caste. Lastly, sir, I would request the Honorable Prime Minister to inculcate a scientific temperament as the Constitution Article 51 said. Let me remind this August how that Priyam once said, the surgery is carried on a human body when it is healthy. He had once said that plastic surgery and in vitro fertilization exist in the past. This is reflected today in the fact that 40 lakh Indians are estimated to have died during COVID thanks to this Modi's rule. Thank it you. is reflected in the fact that the government has still not taken any active steps to improve healthcare delivery in India, sir. This is what I have to say. Thank you. Thank you.